the highway now. And I really wish, if he was going to continue this pursuit, I really wish he would have stayed on the freeway. Because now when you start talking about the surface streets, now you're you have cross traffic, you have pedestrians, you have red lights, stop signs, uh, just so many more factors that could really make this a more dangerous pursuit, uh, more dangerous than it has been. Uh, because when at least when he was on the freeway, he was just, for the most part, staying in his lane, staying about anywhere from 50 to 80 miles an hour. But now uh, with the, the surface street action, oh, right here, oh. just collided with that car. Exactly what we didn't want to see is exactly what happened. Uh, Pear Blossom Highway at Small Road, this uh, bus colliding with a smaller sedan. The sedan is uh, just up ahead. Hopefully the people in that car are okay, but folks, it is not over yet. You see the officers, there are guns drawn. Uh, now the time is on the side of the officers. They're not going to make uh, any... Uh uh, anything uh, too fast here. They want to make sure they can slow this down and start to make call outs to the driver so that he comes out and nobody gets hurt. Uh, but uh, you saw it here just a few seconds ago, uh, this pursuit uh, coming to a stop at least here on Pear Blossom Highway after that terrible crash.